we're back from our video where we looked at how our students are getting assigned something that's just an mp3 but let's say we really want access to the like self-grading microphone that actually picks up our students so the first thing i'm actually gonna do is come down to my repertoire we are going to create repertoire but this time instead of picking audio file i'm going to pick score file and you can upload if you have muse score which is a free program you can download you can go from there um i have sibelius and i have a practice score that i had already typed up and put text and all of that stuff in for my choir of the Emily Crocker or Jilton Lemoulin. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that up to make an assignment and show you how that looks. It does take a second because there's more parts. Um, for some reason it likes to read my tempo as something really wild. So this should be around 100 or 105 if I remember correct, but we'll just start there. Exercise parts. Um, you can go ahead and come in and rename these. So like this is actually a desk can. Uh, you can rename this to whatever you want it to be. You can put soprano, you can put alto. You can go by part. Um, it depends on, on what you're trying to do. And then you also have the piano. I think I did part one and alto. Whatever, you get the point. Um, and then there's, you know, the piano part as well. And then we're going to go ahead and put continue. And so that's just going to be what those parts are labeled as when we want to assign them to singers. I found when I practiced this that my score at first looked a little bit janky and then um when i looked though at the students individual parts it was actually a lot easier to dissect because rather than give our students the two line score to follow they actually are just gonna see their part all right and it's back it took a long time and i had to retry that twice so stay strong if it takes forever to upload just know it's doing its best okay so let's go ahead and edit this title a little bit too and there we go so Again, we can include author, we can give a repertoire description. If I have a copy of a PDF, which I don't have handy right now in one click, but if I did, I would just drop that PDF right there and hit save. I think I don't want to dig it out of my library. Okay, and then the students are going to see this come up. And you see what I mean about it looking a little bit janky. But the cooler part is actually, this is when I look at full. But what you're actually assigning to your singers will look like, let's say they sing alto like I do. Boom. They'll see this instead, which is just their part, which is much more manageable. Um, and let's say I want to assign, I can assign the entire song to them, right? Like I did with the Star Singing Banner, or I can assign a section. So if I want to assign a section, I come down here to this more and mark section. Go ahead and bring this. Maybe I want them to sing like from A to B and keep that little intro on it. I can assign that to them and I'm going to come over here to backing really quickly and make sure that there's a backing track available for them to click on. And then I also want to come into tracks and make sure that I have backing track checked there. Because for some reason, sometimes it allows students to access the back track, which means like the piano and other voice parts, and sometimes it doesn't. So I make sure I click backing track everywhere I'm at. All right, and then I can click assign to singer. And push that out to my singer and you can pick which part you assign them so I know that I sing alto so I'm gonna go ahead and assign part two to myself I can choose my attempts and I can hit add all right and then I'm gonna switch and show you the student point of view Oops. so here's our student point of view now and on our student side we're gonna actually see uh, I have another repertoire waiting for me here and now I see Jotun the Moon pop up. And because I uploaded it as an XML on my screen, instead of getting those sound waves, I'm actually getting my part. And I should be able to hit play. Whoa, that tempo's a little bit much. Let's go ahead and bring that down. Let's see if that helps. Cool. So we are just getting that piano um, texture for it. I can go back, but then maybe I wanna uh, I need to include like my background track, right? Like I want to hear piano with me. Okay, pardon, I had a technical difficulty, but I figured it out. So let me go ahead and show you guys how I fixed that and close this. So I wanted a background track with us and I kept going into tracks and that's not what I needed. What I needed was the word backing. Um, and it did prompt me to get a, to get headphones and it says that that'll be better. I'm going to have my audio going in the background. Well, that's not ideal. It's so you guys get the point. Um, the students can also choose this follow me where it like waits for them. I'm gonna leave my backing track so I have piano. And now when I come to this, you see I've got little sound waves and stuff. That was from trial number one. But now when I hit record, it's gonna prompt me. So you use headphones, okay. 
And I'm getting this piano audio at the beginning, which is nice. Short and lambul and ticker ticker talkie, short and lambul and talkie, short and lambul and ticker ticker talkie, short and lambul and talkie. Right, and so now I got my score, right? Um, that it gave me a pitch score, rhythm score, right? And if I was like, you know what, this is pretty good, I'm gonna send it into Ms. G as a student, I'm just gonna go ahead and click submit. And come on. Boom, now I have turned that in. And I'm gonna go real quick, pop over to teacher point of view and show you as a teacher then on our dashboard. Um, I have one waiting. Well, now I can see that my student turned something in, submitted, I can look at it. I can see their little sound waves, okay? Uh, we can choose to offer them comments and feedback, right? And so then when the students were to click on that on their side, they can see that feedback and you can go ahead and go in and grade your students on that. So.